Dude, what's wrong with my PC? It's been running so slow today. Oh, yeah, that's not good. I wonder what's taking all this pay. Holy shit! Yeah! It's no secret that Counter-Strike is a heavy game, as are most games today, due to their high quality and very low optimization. And this led curious me to ask, how many of the game files do you actually need? And spoiler, it's less than you think. The first thing to do before we start deleting files is make sure we only have one game installed. Huh? When CS2 came out and you realized just how trash it was, you've likely downloaded the CSGO Legacy version from the beta menu. What you download is, effectively, the whole game, which weighs a little over 30 gigabytes. You can easily get rid of this by just going into Properties, Betas and selecting None. In a moment, the better version of the game will be removed from your PC. Don't worry too much, keeping it won't make the good times come back. Uh, Ivan here? After you delete CSGO, there's actually some leftover files that are not deleted and you can just get rid of. They do take over 2 gigabytes, and they don't even count towards the file size. So that's weird, but just keep that in mind. We're already looking much better. The next thing we can remove is stuff that you'll find in pretty much every Reddit post about this. Match replays, crash logs, and workshop maps. Match replays are the ones you download from the watch tab, and they are saved with a DEM extension. You can delete them, they weren't cheating anyway, you're just bad. By the way, this tool that I'm using is called Everything. It's free and a million times better than Windows Search. I just paste the path to the game folder, write DEM, and I can delete them all from here. Crash logs are files that are created after, well, a game crash. They have a MDMP extension, and you can delete them without any worries. Lastly, workshop maps. These can be deleted by unsubscribing from them on the workshop page or more rudely by just deleting the folder they're in. You can find the folder by browsing local files, going back two folders and going to workshop. 7.30 is the one related to CS2. I have almost 4GB of maps. It sucks to delete them, but for space, it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Who needs aim training anyway? Okay, let's see what we're at. Oof, we're still at over 50 gigabytes. If you notice, our total hasn't changed at all. And that is because Steam only takes into account the files that are downloaded instead of the actual folder size. So for the sake of clarity, we will replace this with our own counter. Much better. This is the size of a fresh installation of the game, but we can do better than that. Now is the time we start manually deleting files from the game folder while trying not to break anything. Ideally, we still want to be able to play online, and even though we're deleting files and not messing with them, I made a brand new account just to be extra safe, in case some missing files trigger the most effective anti-cheat in the history of gaming. Okay, now that our account is ready, let's see... What else do we not need? Mmm, I don't know... There are 21 maps in CS2, well, there were before Transa got nuked, but let's be honest, how many of them do you actually know? Hmm. Well, lucky for us, unlike lots of things that are stored in archive files, maps are individual files that are only loaded when needed, and the game works perfectly fine without them. That is, of course, until you try loading them. So, I went ahead and deleted all the files in the map folders, except of course, our beloved Dust2. And the game immediately crashed upon starting. In fact, it wouldn't start at all. Um, hello, this is not what happened before. You are supposed to crash, you're not supposed to start. <laughs> what is wrong with this game, dude? <laughs> okay, if you're as confused as I was in this clip, here's what's going on. You see, when the game boots up, it tries to load the background map for the main menu. When I was testing this, if the game couldn't find the map, it would refuse to even start. But I couldn't get footage of that because apparently Valve has changed this and now this happens instead. I was being cosmic brain, choosing the background map which had the lightest file size, but all of that was for nothing. Well, less space needed I guess. The only other files that are needed are found in the prefabs folder. It's sufficient to keep ddos2 and this folder called misc. If we hop in a game now, everything works perfectly fine. Oh yeah, I still got it. After doing some good math, I concluded this was over 6 gigabytes of maps, meaning we looking good, boy. Another 3 gigabyte we can get rid of is found in this folder right here. CSGO LV contains files needed for the low violence mode. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're way too young to be watching this. Anyway, the game used to have a mode that featured no blood and no death ragdolls, so that you could convince your parents to buy it for you. This is not the case anymore, and the files are used for the version of the game that's played in China, which is basically the same, except the blood is black instead of being normal blood color, and the comms are hilarious. If you delete this folder and open the perfect world version, the game will still be in Chinese, but the blood will be back to a healthy color and the comms to a more familiar language. Interestingly enough, decals are still black, which makes me wonder where this detail is stored. In order to play online, you have to keep the folder and these two files, or you will get a back error. 
Okay, we're at a little over 35 gigabytes, but don't worry because we will be taking 7 more gigabytes of the total size. How, you may ask? Well, first you have to subscribe. You don't need to do this, but I love you if you do. And then you search for Vulkan shaders and delete all files except this DLL, otherwise another back error. Finally, you can delete this random folder that takes 6 gigabytes. Apparently, it just contains files used by community-made maps, but since we've gotten rid of those, there's no need for that. So, for the final result, after all this work, we have brought the size of the game all the way from 83 gigabytes to 38.8 gigabytes. This is huge! Now you'll have over 40 extra gigabytes to download whatever your heart desires. Just make sure you leave enough room for when the next big content update rolls out. So that's all for me, thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.